Okay, I'll call this meeting to order. Is there any public input? Ralph? I, I just want to mention that letter that I just gave you from David Starr's office. Yes. I got that just as I was walking out the door to come over here. And of course, I'm not, I don't really know how to put people's names in the send you emails, but tonight, later tonight, when I can write you all in there, I'll, I'll email you the things so that you've got it on email. Uh, but I want to make sure you had a copy of it tonight. Okay, so thank you. It just, came, it just barely came across. So. That's great, thank you. Thank you. Any other public input? Okay, the first thing on the agenda is approval of the January 10th bond hearing minutes. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Any errors, corrections, or omissions that you're aware of? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Aye. <laughs> motion carries. <laughs> <laughs> Next item on the agenda is the January 10th budget hearing minutes. Do we hear a motion to approve? So moved. Second? Second. Any errors or omissions that people are aware of? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, the next item on the agenda is the January 17th School Board and Town Budget Committee meeting. Do we hear a motion to approve? So moved. Do we hear a second? Second. Any errors or omissions? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. You're doing great, Leslie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Business report, um, the manifest are going around. Do we have a treasurer's report tonight? Uh, Jerry? No, I don't have one tonight because um, I haven't been able to get a hold of Tom saying he's sick. Yeah. So we'll have it at the next business meeting. Okay. Or board meeting. Okay? Thank you. Thanks, Jerry. I don't think you have anything on your uh, computer. No, that's what I have. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Anyway, Tom is out well tonight, Leslie, just so you know. Thank you. Um, next item on the is unfinished business. It's deliberative presentation. And I think Patty just gave us something. Cheat sheet. The cheat sheet. Yes. I'm going to grab my other computer. Yeah, okay. So, Leslie, we have just a deliberative session um, cheat sheet, if you will. It talks about Article 1 is to elect the following school district offices, uh, school board moderator, district clerk, and treasurer. The second one is about acquiring land and engineering service, which is recommended by the school board and recommended by the advisory budget committee, 7 0. That motion is made by me and seconded by Kim Woodson. And then I will go on my talking points. Um, the operating budget is Article 3. Um, and that's recommended by the school board, 5 to 0. Recommended by the advisory budget committee, 5 to 2. <clears throat> I will motion that, and I believe Kim is going to second it. And then we all get up to talk about, I'm talking about regular education. Kim is doing the 1200 series, including the 1300. Leslie, you're doing the 1400, 1600, 2112, and 2113. Greg, you're doing the 2120s down through the 2500s. Yep. And Millie, you're doing the 2600 through to the 2844s. Yes. And um, <clears throat> Tom is supposed to do the property 4000 down to 5250. Uh, we're making plans for him to be here 
on the phone because he won't be able to travel, including the default budget. Any questions at this point? Oh, Article 4. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Article 4 is the professional staff agreement. Motion by Leslie Robbins. I'll second it. And Leslie, you will be talking about that? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. And then Article 5 is a special meeting for the defeated agreement. Um, that's going to be moved by Greg and seconded by Millie. Yep. Yep, they said yes. Yes. <laughs> so, with that being said, at the moment, and unless any further questions from the board members, um, I think that's it. I don't think so. Just uh, you have you have the the Liberty uh, document. Yep. And so, just any any final any final feedback on that, or corrections, or omissions. I think it's pretty much finished. Uh, I think we. We may have a document or two to put in there yet with the uh, <coughs> Lakeway piece. Um, but I think it's it's uh, done at, at, at this moment. There are some uh, there are some slides toward the end too that I put in there for information. There are links um, in case in case some questions come up regarding salaries and cost per pupils and things like that. Good to go. Thank you. Under new business, um, pending property agreement for proposed new elementary school will be moved to non-public um, at this point in time. We do have to have election day coverage, which means, from what I hear, that members of the school board need to be at the public works building from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So with that being said, does anybody have any time frames that they can be available. If it's an hour, two hours, four hours, I really don't Come on, need This is on election day? Yes. Oh, I will I will regretfully be suffering in Florida. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you get the first shot. <laughs> yes. I think you have I'll time to be doing absentee ballot. <laughs> okay. So I will not be available. I'll be with Greg. I can do 5.15-ish to 7. And if nobody else can do, I can do I think eight. the morning. I don't want yeah. to. Yeah, I said if nobody can do 8 to 9, I can do 8 to 9. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, that's whatever. Morning. I can do morning anytime. Then. Millie's going to do the rest. <laughs> I have before. Rosalie, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any particular time? No, but I, I, I'm available, so whatever you need to plug me in on, I, I'm pretty flexible that day. Okay. So I guess instead of going over this a little more in detail, yeah. we'll discuss Just it later. Yeah, email me and tell me what you And want. then um, I'll have Patty send you out an um, email about who's going to be there at what time. I'm waiting for a confirmation call from the Secretary of State tomorrow, so okay. if it changes, I'll let you know. Okay. Is this a new requirement, or a requirement by someone in particular? No. I came across it because they had some election changes, and I got the memo for them. And then they came up with a stipulation that if you couldn't be there, you could assign another member to cover for you. And I thought, they don't even go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I'm getting verification tomorrow. So. Okay. Coffee and donuts. Oh, life is not around. Or something. Okay. Um, do we want to do a discussion and revision of the school board mission vision and values, folks? Okay. Or do we want to hold it off for I another day? I saw the options. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's something that we want to discuss further. Millie, go ahead. Leslie, how do you feel about it? Uh, I, I, I'm the person who wrote those actions. Yeah, um, yeah. And I know we had been working um, a little bit on our financial piece. I'm sorry, I'm having a little trouble getting those actions pulled up in front of me, so I apologize. Um, so, you know, I defer to you guys um, on it. I mean, is this a change that we would make before the deliberative, or 
because it's not before the delivery. Yeah, we wouldn't make it before the delivery. No, because so. the, the documents in it, it came yeah. up when we did this. Yeah. Yep. And some other documents, and you know, there's some things that we, as Leslie mentioned, a couple of other other suggestions for the financial accountability item in there that I, before we before we start obviously doing anything different, the board will, will need to change it. it what's there, what's on the website is uh, is what was approved in in 2016, September 2016. Okay, so I think we can move this to another um, <coughs> discussion to another date. Yeah, I think just give people okay. a heads up that we may want to yeah. work with that. Yeah, yeah. No, those are good options too. Yeah. Okay. Um, the Barry's transportation contract, has everybody had a chance to look at it? Yes. Yes, I read it. Okay. Um, just so you know, everybody, we've had a contract with this gentleman. W.W. W. Berry since July 1st of 2006. So one, two, three, four. This is about our fifth contract, or fourth contract. Um, I have no problems with it. I think the wording says just about the same as it did before. Yep. Um, and actually, the year, the beginning year of the next contract is the same fee as the year of the last old contract. Mm -hmm. So that hasn't gone up. Um, I think the only thing that has gone up is the uh, the wait time, but it holds pretty true for about three years before it goes up a little bit more. So I would entertain a motion to accept the air transportation contract. So, so moved. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, the next item on the agenda is a school town MOU discussion, and I believe, Kim, you're going to talk about that? Yeah, we had our third meeting with Parks and Rec and the town last Thursday. It was out of the three meetings, it was probably the most beneficial for all. Um, just a little background on why we started meeting um, back in 2017 when we were going through the budget process. We were going line by line and analyzing every single dollar that we spent as we do every year. But in this case, a question came up as to the amount of money we were paying Parks and Rec. Um, for years, it was around $2,000, and then it went up to $6,000 with just the tagline field maintenance. There was really no um, detail on what that field maintenance required, so we requested that Steve and Andrew Dorsett get together and meet so that we could kind of hash out what that $6,000 was for and compare it to the use of parks and recs in the town of our buildings. Um, we did ask Tom Mangles, the business director, to hold off on making that payment until we could meet and assess and analyze what this money was for. Um, unfortunately, a little bit of time went by before we were able to coordinate meetings between our office and the um, town office. But when we finally did, we met back in October. And the two meetings, starting in October and December, I believe, were really designed to give each other information and say this is what we do, this is how we do it, this is how much it is. Um, we didn't really move past that point until this last meeting on January 31st where we were really able to recognize the contributions of Parks and Rec. They were able to recognize what the school district offers and sat down and, and decided that moving forward we would um, meet Parks and Rec would go back and meet with the town, and we would come back and present to the board as to what we felt would be a beneficial memorandum of understanding between the two parties. So that's where we are at right now, and we're hoping in the next couple of weeks to have a final decision on where that stands. Any questions from the board members? 
So at this, at this point, you don't have any, do you have a draft MOU? That we don't have a draft that? MOU because there were people that could not be at that meeting on okay. Thursday. And so um, Karen and Chris were going to take that information back. So we, we can't say that there's a complete resolution until we have an agreement from the town okay. side. Any other questions? Thank you, Kim. Sure. Uh, committee reports. Uh, personnel. Uh, I think you had one. <coughs> I didn't have the council. Did, did you still meet? You did. Okay. Oh, what personnel? No, 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 we no, did. no I'm you sorry. Did My mind was already on something. Else. We're working on a couple of jobs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Good Some of these uh, was. Canceled last Friday, this is Friday the 8th at 7.30 at the SAU. <laughs> and then policy, of course, we're working all the time. <laughs> we have policy ADB slash GBEC. In other words, GBEC is the identical policy to ADB. It's just in a different, in a different flow of things in the policy place. It's drug-free workplace, drug-free schools, revised first reading and adoption. <clears throat> so, any, any, has the board members read this? Are there any questions? I haven't read it till just right now. One more. I read it, but thought it looked good. Good enough for me. <laughs> I've read it as well. Okay. Do I have a motion to... Uh, Accept this first read and adoption. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, the next, oh, I didn't see this one. The tobacco product, did you put that on there? Okay. So the so other one. Yeah. It's number two. Huh? It's the second one now. Yeah, I've got it on here. I didn't see it earlier today. GBED slash ADC slash JICG, they're all identical policies in different areas. It's about tobacco products being used in possession in and on school facilities and grounds. So if everybody has had time to read it, um, I would entertain a motion for first reading adoption. Leslie, you good? Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion to move for revised for student adoption to GBED slash ADC slash JICG. <coughs> Do I have a second? Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. The next one is BED G BED G minutes. Um, which is was adopted May 1st, 2006. We're looking at to um, do this now, first read and adoption. Did you get that, Leslie? Yeah, I did. I did get it. I thought it looked good. Okay. Do I hear a motion? Yeah. Or something like motion that? to accept uh, policy BEDG minutes as uh, for first reading and acceptance. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. A second. Do you second. Uh, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> the last one is uh, BEDH, which is public comment and participation at board meetings. Um, this is also a revised first read and adoption. I do have maybe one addition to this myself, which is on uh, five, uh, request to address the board on specific matters, i.e. a request to have a matter placed on an agenda <coughs> should be presented to the superintendent and or the board chair. Board chair would be additions no less than seven days prior to the next board meeting and must set forth the specifics of the subject to be addressed. That's my only correction on that one. 
seven days. Well, it was 14 days. Oh, Lord. <laughs> be all taken care of by then. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Are you okay with that, Leslie? I am, thank you, yeah. Okay. Motion to have a first reading adoption with the amended. And I'll move to accept policy BEDH with the addition of the reference language um, for first reading adoption. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, the next thing on the agenda, believe it or not, is the superintendent's report. <laughs> 520, wow. Right. No, she was on a roll, man. <laughs> okay. Um, we came just a week ago today, actually, uh, the Commissioner of Education, Frank Elbow, was in town and uh, spent the, the uh, afternoon uh, touring Lakeway, had a chance to visit some classrooms there and uh, visit the building again, look at the building again as well. and. Uh, he followed that up with uh, some time over at the Career Tech Center, uh, touring some of the programs, hearing from um, some of the uh, interns, that are students that are out and do, doing their internships, and then, then we were happy to host him for a, a, a spell with, uh, with the administrative staff and, and members of the board as well, and then that he finished his day uh, by spending some time at uh, the Bubba Nosh Community School and got to observe a, a class uh, in this case, it was an art class, and spent a lot of time talking to the students, and then also finished it off by by uh, hearing from a student who had an adult student actually in the community who had who had finished his uh, diploma requirements and was very grateful for the opportunity to do so, and also got to uh, watch uh, a student, a new student, become enrolled uh, at the school and, and watch that process. So we thank the commissioner for his time. And uh, for sharing some, uh, some of his thoughts with us as well. It was a good good visit. School band, we have 12 individuals who received uh, the, the driver training. That was in two different sessions. The first session was right before Christmas on a Saturday morning. And the second session was this past Saturday. Yeah, the one that was 16 below when it began. Um, we are lucky the van was parked inside. But... Uh, Training is, is finished at this point now. We just have to get to Twin Mountain and pass that test. And uh, those individuals that are able to pass the test then will be certified as a bus driver uh, and, and be uh, have all the qualifications, at least uh, the certification qualifications to drive the van. Um, school building aid, and I know you, you hear about this, it's in the news some, it's definitely uh, high, high profile and hopefully high priority among the legislatures, uh, the legislators in the legislature this year. And uh, certainly will be prominent, I'm sure, in our discussions Wednesday night as we talk about Lakeway and, and going forward. But a lot of work is, is ongoing. I do know that there are community members that have reached out to various uh, individuals in the legislature as well uh, to, again, to voice their support for that. and. Seems like we do have some upcoming visitations and some other, some other things happening there. So I think it's really important uh, that the community reaches out <clears throat> and uh, you know voices voices their opinions with our legislators, uh, regardless of how they how they believe a, a certain bill or a certain uh, topic should go. Special education funding another 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 topic I think will be prominent uh, come Wednesday night as we talk about. Our overall budget, but I, again, I just want to reiterate. We talked to the commissioner about this a little bit the other day too. Of this uh, growing, I think it's a, it's a funding crisis. I think it's I think it's to that point in many schools. Uh, the the cost the cost of meeting the needs of all students, especially students with the uh, most severe needs, and uh, certainly we're hope, hopeful that going forward some 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 action will be taken on that to look at how those costs might be uh, apportioned so the school districts aren't required to pick up 100% of the cost of students that are that are placed uh, for 24-hour care and you know I think we in, so, in saying so we want to we want to uh, again affirm our support 
you know, for those families and students who are unfortunate enough to be put in that position. We, we certainly understand the need to educate the students and support the students and do everything we can to make sure that uh, they are safe as well as, uh, uh, as learning. But uh, we hope, as with everything, that if we look at the overall funding picture in the future that there might be some relief with that. Our overall budget process uh, this year uh, you know, began began in July, really. Uh, that, that, that was a, a right. Mm -hmm. uh, my 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 uh, billing principals and directors to give me the first first run of their budget, and then we did nothing but cut it from then on, <laughs> which is true. You know, I, I think it scrutinized it. We worked through it. We looked very carefully. I think your own work really diligently with that, um, and I think that you know we've certainly put a lot of time and effort. And due diligence in, into the into the budget process. We've met with the town budget committee a total of six times, um, and as a board, uh, besides having having some discussion about the budget during the regular meetings, uh, we had a number of special work sessions that the, that the board uh, was involved with, as well as the administrative staff. And I, I lost count of those, but it was it was several. And uh, you know, again, as as things get more complicated as we as we work through things. Uh, I just I think it just needs to be on the record that, that, that certainly a, a lot of time and effort went into it. We'll find out Wednesday night how the town feels about the work that we've done and and uh, how give us some direction going forward. But I want to thank uh, all those individuals. Voter information document, which uh, which is this 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 document that's we've distributed a bit made it available to, to several events um, but I, and I think will be made it will be made available uh, Wednesday night as well but uh, hope people uh, are able to access this and I think most importantly of all not this document but uh, as people begin to uh, to look at the different things we're doing with the schools and with our budget in particular that they access our website uh, if possible and uh, go into that nice hot topics button, and you'll see, you know, you'll see things there. The, the, big, the things that we're featuring in the hot topics area right now are, are two big initiatives. That's Lakeway, and all the work of, uh, of the Lakeway Facilities Advisory Committee, and then, and then just documents uh, relative to our budget, uh, including the, the very large document that uh, is 80, 82 pages. Um, and that's not even the biggest document that it can get, but that's the most detailed document that we have for the for the publication. So it's a it's going to be a big week, busy week with a with the delivery session coming up. And again, I thank everybody for their effort in preparing. <coughs> okay, we need a motion to go into non-public. I make a motion to enter into non-public session under paragraph 2, section 3 of the RSA 91A, colon 3 of the right to know law for number 3, matters which if discussed in public would, adverse, would likely adversely affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. Number 4, consideration of the acquisition, sale, or lease of real, of real or personal property. Anything else? And number seven, seven consideration by a school board of entering into a student or pupil tuition contract authorized by RSA 194 or RSA 195-A. <clears throat> Taking with us the superintendent. Yeah, principals and directors, please. And, and Patty. Yes. Patty, the principals and directors. Okay. Roll call vote. Second. Who seconded that? Oh, I did. <laughs> Great Cook. Kelly Nelson. Kim Woodson. Leslie. Leslie Rabbit. <laughs> Can't wait it. Okay, we're in. <coughs> Thanks. Thanks.